I don't think to my personal favorite one, uh, to the C++ API, and some examples from that field. The first one is from the company called beam for beam and uh, they mainly produce add-ons for Beam managers. Their tool is the Audit tool, and uh, using that, uh, you will have um, a surface within Articad. Using that, you can send all of your project data to the Beam for the cloud, where uh, you're gonna get a Beam audit actually in minutes. Let me show you that one as well. So this is the uh, user interface for the Beam for Beam audit tool. And as you can see, I've already sent my project uh, two times into the cloud to check the audit score. So you will get some um, suggestions what to improve in your file. You can add notes. Uh, it's a great workflow improvement. You can get an audit in minutes. Uh, so, I believe this is a great tool for beam managers. The next example is from an architecture office, IDEA, uh, based in the Philippines. They are creative and clever solutions, and they are perfectly optimized workflows, uh, and their own development team makes them a role model for many. And uh, I was so lucky to visit them a few years ago, and it was a really, really nice experience for me to learn them uh, many, many things. And uh, their development team creates um, many add-ons for the company. Um, for example, this one, this is the auto-contract documentation, where the users can automatically generate views from the model and lay it out uh, systematically to documentation in no time. So it's like, I don't know, hours and hours of work uh, done by a robot in, I don't know, 30 minutes, which is pretty great. And uh, as you can see, they um, design skyscrapers, they design big buildings all the time, and uh, they need automations like this. So that's why the company has their own development team. I think there are three or four developers actually working on different kind of add-ons just to support their workflows. Um, day by day and and it's pretty fascinating the other example from them is the auto certifications uh, which capture data from a beam model and generate the complete documentation and specifications into their own um, document manager uh, cloud software you're gonna see in a minute so now uh, the data is in their cloud tool and and now you can open it you can print it out as a pdf or in any format that you wish actually um, so it's like many many manual work uh, done in minutes and um, and you can just you know after modify anything in your project you can just push that button again and you are ready to go so this is super awesome and it's done by uh, by an add-on. Uh, the next example is by Beam Wings called Dandelion, which is a cloud-based modeler for Beam apps. And Dandelion is, uh, is actually uh, an add-on plus uh, a point cloud viewer. So when you open up the viewer, then uh, the, the tool actually recognize based on the point uh, density, it can recognize the slabs and the walls for you and automatically. And then you can send those elements into RTCAD again automatically. So you, you don't have to um, do it manually. And it, it's pretty easy to use. I, I tested out before. Um, 
it's a super handy tool if you work uh, with point of models many time. Um, I highly recommend to, to check this product. It's mind blowing in my opinion, uh, and also pretty complex and pretty major. It's a great tool. All right. And now uh, I really didn't want to focus on our products, but I just have to show some of them. <laughs> so this is uh, our layer palette developed by BIMDOT. <laughs> and maybe you are familiar with it. Maybe this is, uh, this is new for you. This is a palette that you don't have to close, open again, close, open again. Uh, and you can manipulate the visibility uh, of the layers. Uh, you can hide and show them again. Um, there are many, many different options here that you can do with the, the, with the layers. And uh, I believe this is uh, a quite powerful tool in an everyday workflow. The property palette is uh, is based on the same idea, so you don't have to open up the um, element settings. You, you just uh, open up the property palette, and then you click on an element. Uh, even when you select two different kind of elements, like in this example, a slab and a wall, and you change a property, then it will overwrite the property for both of the elements. So you don't need to open up uh, separately the settings for the slabs and for the walls. Uh, it's quite uh, useful. Uh, but go to our website and, and explore more on this tool as well. The next one is one of my personal favorites. Uh, and this is fully free. You can go and get it. Uh, this is a quick camera tool. And the idea came from, uh, from one of my uh, modeling sessions where I was on the 3D uh, plan and I wanted to find a room in, I was in a 2D plan and I wanted to find a room in 3D and that was super hard to do. Uh, and using this uh, tool, you just click on the floor plan and then the quick camera tool will get you there in the, in the 3D model. So um, this is absolutely free. Go and get it. Super useful. And now uh, let me share uh, a new add-on with you. Uh, this is the property highlighter add-on. And actually, this is the word premiere of this add-on. Uh, now this is av available on our website. And uh, the method here is that you choose a property, then the tool will automatically highlight the elements based on that property. Uh, now in this example, I use the position and I'm curious about if uh, all of the elements are in the uh, great uh, position. And now I found a bug, this all should be uh, an exterior wall. And with this tool, it's super easy to find bugs like this. And now this phase. Um, so I can move on to the next uh, property. And for that, I open up the 3D model and choose another uh, element, the window door. So I need to check if all of my windows and doors are in the great uh, size. And again, what a coincidence, I have found another bug to fix. Um, and I think it's pretty great, pretty straightforward to see everything highlighted with colors and also see the, um, the value of the property as well. And uh, now that uh, window is already fixed. And um, I also recorded a last example using uh, this add-on. Just for fun, uh, the uh, architect classification uh, property, just to show that 
how many different kind of elements do I have in my project? And also there is a pie chart if I want to check uh, the numbers as well. So this was the highlighted tool. I hope you will find it uh, helpful.